I sometimes get comments saying like, you guys have changed, I miss the old you, and I get it. Like I watch people who I've been watching for a long time and they've their content has changed because kids grow up and families change and a life without change would be awful, but I know the feeling of that loss. Like I miss so much of what I used to love. But anyway, yesterday I was thinking about like, we've had such a good ride, like such a good ride. Like I was looking at pictures of Gabby, like it was her birthday, I was looking up pictures of her and, and the life that she had like growing up was amazing. She had such amazing experiences. She got two amazing horses, dream horses for her and she loved them with her whole heart and just getting that and going through that whole experience, having her coaches, she has such a good relationship with the coaches that she had throughout this whole journey like she loves them like their family she got a custom saddle which is like she still has so much pride over her saddle like getting a custom saddle is almost like getting a horse like it's it's I don't even know how to explain it it's like so special it's such a so so special because it's connected to like the horse that you love and then you get this amazing saddle made just for them like she had so many incredible experiences with riding. She was champion in so many shows. He did amazing at his first rated show, Chino did. Like, she had such a good ride, and now she's 17 and getting ready for university, which takes a lot of time, a lot of energy. Her, her, her focus has changed, and it's sad. It's the most sad for me, but you just gotta go with it, and you just gotta let them grow, and now she's driving, and she's traded her horses for, for a car, and and, Horses are more like of a backseat hobby instead of her whole life. And that's just a process. And I believe she'll come back to a time when horses are her whole life. She got her dream puppy. It was a surprise and it was such an incredible opportunity for her. She loves her dog and she got to grow up with her puppy. She got to raise her the way that she wanted and train her the way she wanted. And it was just such an amazing experience for Gabby. Happy birthday. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday? No, it's coming up. Oh, it's coming up. But the puppies were born before her birthday. Oh, yeah. Were you surprised? <laughs> Take it. She wants more treats. Treats? Cute little puppy. Oh, my God. I thought she was playing with it. She says, big sis, can I have your treats? Can I have your treats? <laughs> Bye. Come on. Yay. The peppers. We went on so many trail rides, even though we had no idea how to go on trail rides. We learned spring, so much along the way, and, and it was I such a good way for us to learn. To everything that's moving, every single little thing. Okay. Oh, God, this is going to be... I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. I'm not going to lie. We're galloping up a mountain. I don't want to go fast. Oh god. Oh, ow. Oh, oh god. I'm Oh, that was gorgeous. That's not that, that was the most fun of life. She had experiences that really shaped who she is and who she has become. The relationship that you build when you get your very first horse as a child is honestly one of the best relationships that you can ever have with an animal. Gabby got to find love for the horse that she had, even when that horse wasn't exactly what she wanted. She made the best of it and they became such an incredible, unstoppable team. She jumped her biggest jumps on him. She had won so many champions at shows with him and it was all due to the love that they had for each other and the relationship that they'd built. She was brave as heck because of the love that she had for her two horses and she was able to challenge herself and have experiences that 
that really made her who she is. As sad as it is, she also got to experience saying goodbye to her first horse. She made the choice to let him be a horse for other kids to ride, and for him to teach other kids, and it was showed so much maturity and so much compassion. Love, since you first took my hand on that sweet summer night, and if you're dog, the horse shows, the hard parts of loving an animal, saying goodbye, and now turning 17 and moving on to other things. These were all the little tiny pieces that make Gabby's story. And as she grows, I'm so incredibly grateful for all the videos that we have of her journey, because as sad as it is that she's growing up and moving on, we can always look back. Happy birthday, Gabby girl. We love you, we're proud of you, and we can't wait to see what you do next. Don't you know that you're beautiful?